Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hakuna La Planta. My name is Kevin, and this video is part two of what I'm currently propagating. So if you haven't seen part one, I would recommend watching it. I'll put a link somewhere in this video. In that video specifically, I only look at what I'm propagating in my prop box. But in this one, I'm going to be walking around my plant room, kind of showing you propagations just kind of scattered all over the place. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, if you're new here and you like these kind of videos, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And also follow me on Instagram if you like planty pictures. Because I like planty pictures and I would like to show you the plants in the pictures. Okay, so this is part two and roll the tape. Okay, so basically moving on to the second level here, um, I could see over... Ooh! Oh my god, did y'all see that? The Paraiso Verde wanted the Pertusa, but uh, I'll just move a few of these plants out of the way. So over here, there are three cuttings of my Syngonium Chia Pens. This plant is such a rapid grower. Um, I know with propagations, there are sometimes issues with, I want to say chlorosis, but to be honest, it could be another issue that I'm not thinking of. And usually with that, um, the newest leaf, not this one, because this one is still an old leaf, but the newest leaf tends to yellow a little bit, and then you could see the veining more clearer, and it doesn't look that cute. But yeah, I do think it's a combination of um, stress and not having a substantial root system to uptake enough nutrients for the plant. And in my experience, I usually only see the chlorotic leaves the first couple leaves. Ooh, I think I like this lighting better. Hold on. Okay, moving on to the next one. I have a Syngonium Wenlandii. So I just filmed the initial chop of this maybe a week or two ago, and um, she's not looking so hot. Look at this leaf. <laughs> I did make very, very close uh, node cuttings with this one just to get more plants. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, we'll see. Okay, over here, another <laughs> Syngonium Chia Pens. I think there are three in here. So they look cute, beautiful, paddle-like leaves. And yeah, we'll see. Okay, and I guess this is the second propagation pot, I guess, of my Syngonium Wendlandii. So again, yellow leaf there. Um, there is this big leaf coming. Do you see that? This long leaf. But yeah, there's a second one here. Okay, so that's all for this level. Let's go up another one. Okay, so um, let me try to get this one in the center here and pull it out for you guys because I think I do need to change the water for this one. This one is a new propagation. This is my Begonia Maculata Whitei. So this is a long story with this one. I was going to gift this plant to my mom because uh, her birthday's coming up. And <laughs> when I was taking it out of LECA and putting it into soil, um, the roots were just half rotted and uh, it was a big pain. Um, so she's just gonna have to wait and um, I'll get these to her when when I have the chance but yeah no roots right now she's just hanging out this was very recent maybe a week ago so yeah okay I just don't want to take this plant out but I think y'all can see okay I don't want to take this plant out because it's a pain but here is another Syngonium Chia Pens. So I think this was the top, top cutting. And uh, yeah, I mean, she's cute. Uh, I think there are four in here. And you could see that there's more leaves back here. Um, yeah, she's still alive. I think this was a week or two ago. And yeah, she's cute. Okay, reaching over here. This is my lonely uh, Philodendron Paraiso Verde. I cut the leaf in half because I got a tip from someone that you should do that just so the plant doesn't need to generate too much 
energy to sustain that plant or that part of the plant so it could focus on growing new growth I guess and I'm just quickly what's a video without dropping like a y'all I'm just trying to see if there's any new growth and it doesn't look like it but uh yeah again philodendron periso verde oh behind it y'all is yet another philodendron periso verde so yeah i mean she hasn't pushed out any leaves with variegation so yeah we'll see okay i changed the perspective because i didn't like how the light it was against the light but uh anyhow this is the uh syngonia mojito um she's really really close to this grow light and you could see the difference in color this leaf against this leaf so yeah oh and also she is in pawn so that's something new let me put her back okay so this one is the uh hoya macrovillarei whatever that is macgillivray i don't know i could never in my life pronounce this one but here it is this is the one where it had the leaves and pawn in the prop box um here's a clip over here i guess to remind you but again like i said it was growing a uh, new growth point here and then there's also a second one just down there so i decided to chop the top off and propagate it and here we are okay so i don't have a video for this but this is the hoya matilde and she has grown so much i think it was the introduction of the grow light but she's grown so much in the past two weeks even like this new growth all these tendrils here that's all new this is all new and she's a little cutie i love her okay so these are my monstera siltipicana propagations um i was experimenting propagating in pawn and the leaves start to yellow a little bit like that doesn't look happy this leaf doesn't really look happy either um i might up the nutrients but again i'm new to pawn um there is new growth like i'll show you with this one like this is completely new so that's a good sign <laughs> all the other ones nothing and then this plant there is new growth over here um and over here so interesting about this plant specifically the leaves started to bend away from the grow light like this leaf you could see is like bent a little bit that's because it was receiving too much light so i moved it away from a grow light i think this is the only propagation that isn't under grow light and uh we'll just see what happens hey <coughs> oh oh allergies okay guys so there's one last spot it is down at the bottom shelf with this grow light again i'm just going to pull out each plant and then show you guys okay so this is my begonia maculata ydi the leaves are so yellow and that's because it was under a grow light a grow light that i would not recommend um but i recently moved it away put it into pawn and yeah i mean here she is uh we'll see with the newer leaves how it looks uh you could see that it's i don't know if this is it's because it's a young leaf but it's still yellow and <laughs> this one over here as well um yeah oh okay this is the rest of the begonia maculata ydi um funny i have the other one right here these are from i chopped these plants at the same time but these ones i just wanted to see how the roots would grow in water these ones i put straight into leca and it was because again the roots were like non-existent and my poor mom I know she would have loved this plant but she's gonna have to wait until <laughs> it grows brand new roots okay so we have here the philodendron strawberry shake so there are four propagations or cuttings in here and these four were originally in the propagation box 
they did grow a larger root system than the ones that are in the box right now. So I decided to put them into Lekka and no growth yet, but I think this was still pretty recent. So that's that. And let me show you the mom. Oh my God. These are so cute. Still so gorgeous over here. Um, you can see that this is where I cut. Uh, but I noticed guys, I don't know if y'all can see it. Oh, wait, where is this from? Okay. I would just move some Lekka and look at what is that? Hold on. Oh, what is that? Is that a new leaf from beneath the ground? Oh my God. I actually didn't remove this plant from the pot. So I don't know how much stem and how many nodes are below the Lekka. Um, and it's weird because there's, I, I was just going to say that there, oh, how do I do this without spilling? Can you see it? There's a little growth point. Okay, I'm gonna spill water. I promise you there's a growth point. Oh my God, which one will survive? Okay, we're almost at the end. Uh, the last plants are Syngoniums. I did it again, guys. I chopped up my Syngonium Podophyllum alba vergatum. Here's one. I think there are four in here. And then there's this one. She's looking like a cutie. And the last one is over here. So they're all good in the lab. And I think this is the last one. Syngonium mojito. Oh my God. <laughs> Syngonium mojito. This leaf is so awkward. Who are you trying to be? But I just love when these leaves, like that is so weird. <laughs> like that one too. Crazy. Oh, anyways. Okay, guys, I guess that's it. So I guess I showed you all the plans I'm propagating at the moment. I don't think I'm going to post any videos next week, which gives me a lot of anxiety because I want to give y'all the content that y'all crave. But I think I need to rest, recuperate, work on that Lekka series that I promised y'all. And like, did I start? No, kind of, did I? I don't even know. I'm like stressed. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm going to take a week of rest next week and then hit the ground running. And yeah, I guess tell me guys what plants you're propagating right now, um, what mediums you're propagating in, and I guess what your conditions around the plant are. I think I forgot to mention, although they're around my plant room, they are under a grow light around my plant room about 12 to 14 hours a day. The ones that are not in the prop box get between 40% to 65% humidity, depending on the time of day. Obviously the plants in the prop box get like, I wanna say 90% humidity. And yeah, I guess let me know what you guys are propagating cause you know me, I love propagating plants. And it is like spring, oh my God, it's spring on Monday, right? Am I wrong? Oh, that's so exciting. Oh my gosh. Wow. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Anyways, if you've made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.